All right, here's the uh, cooler stereo that I've been working on and the uh, inner tube. Um, I used a 25 quart uh, Igloo Marine uh, cooler and uh, put a couple of uh, Stanley um, window sash locks on it. Uh, I used these instead of the rubber latches because they'll last longer and I think they look better. Um, I've got a little four way Marine switch here, a little. Uh, solar panel to uh, trickle charge the uh, batteries and these are louvered um, vents for the exhaust fans and there is a, a little uh, waterproof auxiliary input there um, I'll show you the tube real quick order this little tube off of uh, Amazon um, and I ordered a little mini trampoline mat I don't know if you can see that or not um, and uh, lashed it, I deflated the tube, lashed the mat to the bottom of the tube, and then inflated the tube, and it got real tight. Um, made a couple little, and I took the handles off the uh, cooler, because um, I was forward to the speakers that they'd be rattling, and I just didn't like them on there, so um, that's pretty much it. I got a couple of uh, marine grade, uh, six by nines by pile. I think they're 260 watts um, One on each side little rope handle for carrying it around um, oh, Texas flag I stuck in here for fun I left the solar panel up off of the uh, deck a little bit so that um, I can put uh, a phone or whatever here in the shade it'll keep the heat from transferring directly from this to that and this aluminum piece acts as a uh, heat sink you can see here um, and it gives me a shady spot to put iPhones and stuff so they don't uh, overheat when we're sitting by the pool or whatever um, if I you know want to keep one up here I've got options inside for mounting stuff um, let's open it up I'll show you what it looks like on the inside okay so as you can see uh, quite a bit going on in this little cooler. Um, I've got the little uh, pile uh, hydro amp. It came. Um, it was a pretty sweet little setup. It came with the uh, um, a fused remote. I mean, a fused power line, uh, negative, and a remote um, wired hardwired into this. It also came with the RCAs and this line output adjustment knob, which is here which you can see on the outside um, so I wouldn't say it's a volume it's more like a line output knob kind of a deal anyway um, I'm using two uh, little deer feeder but there's my uh, for my shuffle here I'm using two little uh, 12 volt deer feeder batteries they're 7.5 amp hour and they're running parallel uh, so I got 15 amp hours um, this is coming from the solar panel it keeps these things charged up I've got um, two little uh, 12 volt charging ports here um, and this one I've got that little guy right there is a Bluetooth uh, receiver uh, which also goes into the amplifier. So I've got uh, three inputs. I've got the one on the lid So you can see here, I've got just a, uh, a regular old guy in here like that and then I've got um, This Bluetooth so I got three ways of getting into the amp um, I ran everything to a terminal block So to make it easier for changing stuff out uh, don't th I don't think I really needed the uh, fans. I've got um, one sucking air in and the one over the amp sucking, uh, blowing air out of the box. Uh, but I went ahead and added them anyway. Uh, figured what the hell. Um, with the box this small um, and this much crap inside it, uh, I didn't want to take a chance of anything overheating. Uh, especially when, um, I mean, it's like 108 degrees outside yesterday, so... Um, it can get pretty hot out here, so I figured I'd better safe than sorry. I've got, uh, there's the bottom of that s uh, switch. I've only got two things going to it right now. I've got the uh, amp and uh, the fans. Um, I don't have this wired up because I ran out of the uh, little connectors right here. Um, I left the uh, 
the fourth switch open later for um, expanding later if I want to add something else like something ridiculous like LED lights that go in sync with the music. Um, give you a look at the box. I tried to keep all my audio cables on this side and most of my power stuff over here um, and anything like the speaker wire that was coming near uh, audio, I mean um, power stuff, I tried to shield as much as possible uh, just to avoid interference. I know it's just a cheap system, but if you're gonna do it, might as well do it right. Um, so let's uh, fire this thing on and uh, see what's playing on here. Okay, so he turned on, there's that. Turn up, the volume's already up all the way. I just got a shuffle on here. Who knows what's going to be playing? There you go. No idea how the microphone's picking this up. All the crap that uh, this came in, uh, Amazon, Amazon wastes a lot of money over packaging stuff, so a ton of crap to throw away. Um, it gets pretty loud. I think it'll be fine for pool parties and for the river and whatnot. Um, let's see. Imagine a dirt road full of potholes with a creek bank and some cane poles catching channel cat. I guess that's about it. Um, I wanted to show you the Bluetooth, but I uh, don't have the uh, uh, ports here charged. Uh, right now, or I don't have anything to switch anyway. Oh, the fans. Um, this, since this was a, uh, since this was for a boat, um, they came with a bunch of like pre-made stickers and labels and stuff. So I just used the ones that was best matched what I was working with. Stereo, DC outlets will be those. Uh, blower is what I'm calling the fans. Um, this, they have little LED lights, kind of annoying. And this guy right here is rattling. Um, you can see, since I have it reversed, there's no guard on the other side, and I think it's hitting the plastic or something on, on the underside of the lid. It's not a huge deal. Um, blows air out here. Sucks it in here. Um, I, I, I clocked it at using about 1.25 amps an hour. So a 15, uh, not, not using the solar panel to um, supplement the battery charge, uh, which I don't know the rate this charges, but it's gotta be ridiculously slow. Um, but it should keep a full battery topped off with minimal usage. Um, I've got 15 amp hours here, so one and a quarter, that's about 12 hours. And that's with the fans, That's the, that rate was with the fans, and the amp running, um, and the speakers at full volume. So,
So anyway, that's my uh, um, stereo cooler. Um, pretty pumped up to go to the river and use it. Oh, let me show you the, uh, the bottom of this guy real quick. Um, it kind of pisses me off because it has the name of the trampoline company, but it's the only one I could find that was small and available. Uh, I figured this would keep um, water from splashing up in here. It'd make it ride a little bit higher up in the water, save the tube from some rock rash. And uh, I need to inflate it a little bit more, but I wanted to get the cooler at the right height. And that's about it. So, hope you guys like this. Um, probably think of some more crap to add to this later, but uh, that's my uh, first cooler build. Um, might add a, uh, some actual flags, maybe a Texas flag and a pirate flag if I can uh, convince my fiance that they are not ri completely ridiculous. Um, so, anyway, y'all have a good one. All right, later.